Look at me. I'm literally melting right now. I can't do this anymore. OMG. Did your future parents-in-law turn the heat on again? Girl. You look like you're about to collapse. Wait, isn't it like 90 degrees outside? How is this even real? Yep, you read that right. They're at it again with the thermostat sabotage. I swear. It's like I'm living in an oven. They are trying to cook me. No way. Why are they doing this? I mean, it's not just the heat. This is a whole nightmare situation. Has been going on for months. First of all, his parents didn't even ask if they could stay here. They just called and told me they were coming. Hold up. It's the first time I've heard about this. They just told you. Not asking or anything. Exactly. His mom called, we're coming, prepare the spare bedroom. That was my first red flag. But honestly, the moment they walked in, things just exploded. Exploded? How bad are we talking? Bad. Real bad. Nuclear level. They criticize everything. How I cook, how I clean, how I organize my life. But the worst part, they act like they own the house. Whoa, that's beyond rude. Oh, trust me, that's just the tip of the iceberg. The thermostat war? Yeah, that's been ongoing for weeks. I tried to compromise, right? I set it to 75 degrees, even though I like it cooler. But that still wasn't enough for them. They really couldn't handle 75? Like a normal human being? Nope. They'd wait until I wasn't looking. Sneak over to the thermostat and crank it up to 98 degrees. I woke up one night, literally drenched in sweat. They kept saying, older people feel colder. I mean, come on. Okay, 98 degrees? Are they insane? How do they even function in that heat? I have no idea. So yesterday, I lost it. I taped the thermostat. Like, I actually duct taped it and left a note saying, do not touch. I thought, maybe finally I'll have peace. Smart move. I'd do that too. Did it work? I wish. Came home after work today, and it's like walking into <laughs> duct tape. Gone. The thermostat is cranked to 98. Again, at this point, I'm ready to scream. What did you do? Please, tell me you flipped out. Oh yes, I did. I stormed into the guest room and let them have it. I told them, this is my home. I'm tired of them being rude to me, treating me like I'm the freaking intruder. I laid out all the boundaries I should have set from the start. Good for you. What did they say? His mom? Oh my god. Without missing a beat, she goes, You have no right to barge in here without knocking. That's an invasion of privacy. Then she called me a bitch. I was standing there like, Really? I cannot believe this. She flipped it on you? Oh yeah. She went on for half an hour. I've heard all of it before. So I just tuned her out. But the audacity, when she was done, I calmly told them they need to leave. Yes. Kick them out. Did they go? Oh, they left. But now my boyfriend is acting like... I'm the one who crossed the line. He's been giving me the cold shoulder ever since. Like, I'm the bad guy in this story. Oh, no, girl. What's wrong with him? Why isn't he standing up for you? I don't know. But he's so tied to them. It's like they've wrapped him in this blanket of guilt. And he can't see how messed up it is. I didn't realize until now how much control they have over him. Remember when I first met them? At that dinner, his mom was already making little digs at me. She said I probably didn't grow up with the same values as they did. At the time, I brushed it off. Now I see what she was doing. We need to talk. About what? About your parents. I've had enough. Here we go again. Excuse me? What does that mean? You're making this a bigger deal than it needs to be. I'm making it a big deal. They've turned my life upside down. They rearranged my kitchen without asking. Ruined my sleep with the thermostat nonsense. And now your mom's calling me a And you say I'm the one overreacting? They're family. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to have my back. For once. For Christ's sake. They're treating me like trash. In my own home. And you're acting like it's nothing. It's not that simple. You know how they are. They're old. Just let them be. Ignore them. Can't you just let it go? Let it go? They rearranged my entire kitchen. What kind of guests do that? I didn't think it was a big deal. Well, it was a big deal. To me. They shoved my spices into random cabinets, moved all my pots and pans. And when I said something, your mom just brushed me off. Like my opinion didn't matter. She was just trying to help. Help? She's controlling everything. And what about the dinner she insisted on cooking last week? She made all this food I hate. And expected me to be thrilled about it? You didn't have to eat it. Wow. That's all you have to say? Forget it. I'm done. I can't reason with you. Why are you being so dramatic? You're making this so much worse than it is. No, you are. By not standing up for me? Fine. Do whatever you want. I'm tired of this shit. Oh, trust me. So am I. Update. <gasps> so I confronted my boyfriend about everything. Guess what he said? I hear bad news. What did he say? He told me I'm being dramatic and making it worse. Like, how am I the bad guy here? Oh, no, no. No way, girl. If he's not on your side after all this, that's a huge red flag. Seriously, you've been putting up with too much already. Exactly. I told him about the kitchen, about his mom's snide comments. And you know what he said? She was just trying to help. Help? By completely ignoring me and doing whatever she wanted. Ah! Typical. He's letting her walk all over you. And don't even get me started on the dinner disaster. She insisted on cooking this giant meal, stuff I don't even like. Then acted all offended when I didn't jump for joy. Wow. Did he defend you at all? Nope. Not a word. Just sat there scrolling on his phone. Like none of this was happening. Unbelievable. I tried everything. I even bought a lockbox for the thermostat. 
petty? Sure, but I was desperate. Wait, so you locked the thermostat? How did it go? Yeah, locked it for about two days. Then I come home, and guess what? The lockbox is gone. I asked what happened, and his mom says she had maintenance take it off. She refused to freeze to death like prisoners. She said it with a smirk. No way. She had maintenance take it off? Yep, didn't even ask. Just had them come in. Like she owns the place. That's next level psycho. She's seriously out of control. And now she's posting on social media. These passive-aggressive rants about ungrateful people not treating family right. She doesn't mention me by name, but it's obvious. I know well she posts it for me. Oh my god, does she really think she's the victim? Apparently, and to top it all off, I overheard them talking about me. His dad was whispering to his mom that I'm not right for him. He'll figure it out and leave me. And she said she dealt with my type before. Like I'm some temporary problem. Are you kidding me? They're waiting for him to leave you? Or me to leave him, obviously. That was the last straw. I kicked them out after that. But now my boyfriend is sulking around the apartment, acting like I'm the problem. And now he wants me to apologize to them. No way. Absolutely not. Do not apologize. I know, right? But he genuinely believes I should have just let them have their way. No, you don't owe them anything. You've been way too patient as it is. I just can't believe he's on their side. After everything they've done, I get that they're his parents. But where do we draw the line? If he can't see how toxic they are, that's a huge problem. Exactly. You need to stand your ground. I tried, but now he's barely speaking to me. He's acting like I'm the villain in this whole mess. You're not the one to blame, I assure you. I'm not saying this because you're my friend. They're the ones who disrespected you in your own home. He should be standing up for you. That's what I thought, but now I feel like I'm losing my mind. I'm not apologizing. Why not? It's just an apology. Let's smooth things over. No, I'm not letting them walk all over me anymore. You don't even see how much they've disrespected me. It's just how they are. You know that. It's not about you. Stop making excuses for them. I'm done being miserable just to keep the peace. You're overreacting. Overreacting? Trust me, I am so underreacting now. I'm barely hanging on here. And instead of supporting me, you're asking me to apologize. To the people who've made my life I just don't want to make things worse. They're already worse. I've been trying to keep it together for months, and all you've done is sit there and let it happen. You're blowing this out of proportion. No, you just don't care. You know what? Actually, I don't care anymore. You better suck it up. Or else you can pack your and leave. Now. What? Seriously? Yes, I'm dead serious. If you want to pick their sides, feel free. I don't need you here then. Just pack your stuff and get out of my home. Okay, babe. I'm sorry. You are right. You bet I am. So, I told him I'm not apologizing. He was giving me the silent treatment again. But you know what? I don't even care anymore. Wait, what did you do? I told him he could either suck it up or he can leave. I don't need his attitude in my house anyway. That's the right move. You've put up with way too much and he's not worth it. That's right, girl. Don't let him guilt trip you into anything. I won't. And you know what? He just apologized. That easy. I don't know why I have had to deal with all these for months, honestly. I feel lighter now that I've stood my ground. That's because you're finally free. Go crank that thermostat down to 70 and enjoy your peace. Oh, oh, I definitely will. No more duct tape needed. Ha ha, you've earned it.